So the question on everybody's lips, what about the hosepipe ban? Uh, please don't worry, I've been in touch with Southern Water. I'm a Southern Water customer, not a South East Water customer. And in this area at the moment, there's no hosepipe ban planned for the near future. So I've been assured I'm okay to carry on until the end of this challenge, the 31st of August, which is terrific news. Um, it does though give an opportunity to talk about water responsibility and water usage and uh, saving water and those that have been following this challenge will know that um, showering outside is great for uh, water responsibility not only diverting water away from the drainage and sewer system but also saving water because one tends to be a bit qu quicker when the water is cold and also when it's on a trigger um, I stop to lather down so I'm saving quite a lot of water over 10,000 litres of water saved in the year and between 10 and 14,000 litres of water diverted away from the drainage and sewer network. So showering outside on the grass added benefits that I get to water bits of the grass each day, um, added benefits of showering outside with cold water from the hose. So give it a go, you'll be surprised. Good morning, it's Wednesday the 17th of August. That takes me through to day number 351. That's 351 or 365 of me taking my morning shower out here in the garden or wherever I am with cold water from the hose every day for a whole year, no matter what's the weather. And this is all to try to raise some money for the RNLI, is to try and raise awareness of water safety and drowning prevention messages, and also to try to encourage responsible use of the drainage and sewer network. Today I'm again back at pool at the Lifeboats College, so out here next to one of my favourite outside taps. Uh, the weather today is actually quite murky, it's cooled down quite a bit uh, from the last couple of weeks, which is actually quite a relief. I <laughs> quite like the weather at the moment. It's a bit murky, a bit misty, there is quite a strong breeze so the camera is swaying around a little bit, apologies for that. Um, I put the temperature at around maybe 17 or 18 degrees just at the moment so it's not too bad but it has cooled down a, a bit uh, from the last couple of weeks as I've said. I have three birthdays to mention this morning so first off Karen Irving. Karen, it was good to catch up the other day, I know, uh, not the ideal of circumstances, but uh, good to see you. I hope you're well, I hope you have a terrific day today. Andrew Camp. Andrew, I've not seen you for a long, long time, decades I think, in fact, but uh, I hope you're well, I hope you have a terrific day today, and that the day brings you everything you wanted to. Happy birthday to you, Andy. And George Shields. George, happy birthday, mate. I hope you have an amazing day lined up. All the best for the day. Happy birthday, all three. Here goes shower number 351 and getting so, so close to the, <laughs> the end of this challenge now. 351, here goes. So that's it from me for today, it's day number 351, so only a couple more weeks to go before the end of this challenge. So please, if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like these videos, share around what friends, family and wider networks and help me get maybe just a few more donations, that would be amazing, thank you so much. I'm really keen to get towards my target of £10,000 raised, so uh, all your help would be very deeply appreciated. Happy birthday George. Andy and Karen have an amazing day and everybody else have a terrific day. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye bye for now.